we recently covered the launch of the Platypod Extreme. It's the latest of Platypod's Kickstarter projects, and it's part of their flat tripod line, coming in at $119 on Kickstarter. I have had one in my hands since late January. I took it with me to Iceland, Croatia, Wales, and a number of other places to test. Here are my thoughts. Over the course of several design tweaks, Platypod has made a name for itself as one of the go-tos for portable camera support. With the new Platypod Extreme, the company has made an even more configurable and versatile product, albeit with the same old limitations. At its outer reaches, the Platypod Extreme measures 7.75 by 5.25 inches, and is about 0.2 inches thick. In all, the aluminum plate weighs 9.6 ounces, and it is compact and simple enough to slide into most sleeve-style pockets. In most cases, you'll want to use a ball hat with it, so unless you want to attach and detach it off and then store that separately, it's going to add considerable height to what was a pretty thin support system. Either way, the plate also comes with a carabiner clip and can be attached to the exterior of a camera bag as well. In my testing, this is how I chose to carry it around with an attached ball hat. Near the center of the plate is a non-removable titanium 3 8 inch bolt to which a ball hat or another accessory can be attached. Titanium is corrosion resistant, so its use here is a good choice for assuring the longevity of something that can be removed and switched out. Included in the box is a 1 4 inch male-to-male -male adapter which can be placed in 7 different spots around the platypod. If you have an accessory that uses this size or want to try mounting your camera directly to the plate, you can use this instead of a 3 8 to 1 4 inch adapter. At each of the four corners are independently adjustable stainless steel rubber cap legs. These legs can screw up and down the connector to make them longer or shorter, and with the platypod extreme, can now be rotated at different angles. Previously, platypod owners would have to unscrew the legs and completely remove them when it was not in use. Now, they can be rotated so that they sit parallel with the plate, keeping them attached but not getting in the way. Even though a ball head on the platypod can compensate for non-level placement, it can only do so much before the plate is too far out of balance, and it becomes overly top-heavy. I found using, that not only is this new design for the legs great for storage, but they are more easily adjustable for better stability, when used in combination with a ball head. The legs come with removable rubber tips that cover spikes which can be deployed on rough surfaces, but the caps allow the platypod extreme to be used on delicate surfaces. These just slide off fairly simply, and while I certainly appreciate the benefit of being able to keep the legs attached on the extreme, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose these caps. We swap one problem for another, unfortunately. The platypod is made from aircraft-grade aluminum, and finished with a semi-matte black powder coat. In testing, that plate is quite resistant to bending. I was not able to twist or misshape it even after putting all my force into it. I even balanced the extreme at an angle and stood on my ball hat and it did not give. So if it's accidentally stepped or crammed into a space with other rigid objects, the plate is is probably going to come out just fine. The company claims that the Platypod Extreme can readily support camera and lens combinations of up to 22 pounds, which is a lot less than what I attempted to hit it with, but Platypod was probably factoring in the four stainless steel adjustable legs. In most situations, a tripod is going to make a lot more sense to use over the Platypod Extreme. This fact doesn't take away from the Platypod's abilities though, because it's a different tool for a different job. Both it and a tripod can mount a ball hat and a camera, but they're at their most useful in different situations. You can bring a full tripod to use in Grand Central Station in New York City, but you can probably get away with placing a platypod on the rounded marble guardrails. You wouldn't bring only a platypod on a landscape photography trip, because a tripod is going to get the exact compositions you want without compromise. In short, the platypod extreme is thin and light by itself, and can be easily carried around and deployed when the right opportunity presents itself, but it's not a full-on replacement for anything else. Bear in mind that this is also a Kickstarter project, but given the company's history and the fact it expects to deliver the extreme pretty much immediately after the campaign ends, it appears that the Kickstarter is being treated more like a pre-order than a crowdfund. Still, be aware there are no guarantees with Kickstarters. Should you buy it? Yes, if you need a pre-machined piece of metal with a bunch of different use cases built in, the Platypod Extreme is the best way to go. So, if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Thank you for watching, see you soon.